Hello YouTube, this is NBA Bass Pro, and I'm going to give you a quick preview of my tackle box. Here is my stick baits and uh, zoom flukes. And these are Berkeley Power Baits, uh, zoom shaky heads, uh, I don't know what those are, and we have the Gander Mountain. Um, Senkos, and we have Zoom Finesse Worms, Zoom Centipedes, Zoom Flukes, zo more Zoom Centipedes than uh, Finesse Worms. So that's what's in my uh, go to soft plastics. Then we have my terminal tackle and in this is uh, all my assorted jigs and hooks. For all my soft plastics, I use three out Gamagatsu hooks. And I use 3 16 weights or 1 4 ounce weights. And lately, what's been going good for me, and uh, I caught a 22 inch largemouth bass the other day, is a uh, black and blue jig with a wave worm tiki grub as the trailer and what I do for the trailer is I point the tail down instead of up like most people do because it gets more action in the water and then I have my wave worm tiki grubs either in smoke black or red flake and I have storm uh, swim baits on my jigs and some more waveworm tiki grubs and watermelon seed. And then in my third tackle box, we have all my hard plastics. I'm not a big hard plastics guy, so I don't have that many. Uh, but my favorite ones so far are the extra apps, either purple gold or perch colored. And then the cotton cordell, um, cotton cordell. Rattle trap, and then I just have a bunch of Walmart one dollar spinner baits because I don't like to buy spinner baits. I never catch anything on the lakes that fish. And then we have a popper because I don't do much top water fishing. And then I got some lures out of Cadet tournament that we got in the bags. We have a storm crankbait, and I don't know what those are. Just some random off brands, and then some more top water and shallow cranks or jerk baits and that's all that's in my hard plastics set that over there and then we have my creature baits my go to creature baits we have wave it's some way it's wave lizards and my homemade soft plastics that I melted in a can and poured into a mold we have some Zoom Brush Hogs, uh, Berkeley Havoc, Skeet Reese, Pit Boss, Zoom Meathead, and uh, Gambler uh, Crawdads, blue, blue Blue Flake. We have Netbait, Pack of Craw, and Netbait, Pack of Chunks. We have the Zoom Teeny, Minna, teeny Tiny Fluke. And we have some Zoom Mag shaky head worms and when I go fishing off the pier we have some spoons and some Berkeley ha uh, Berkeley for power, power worms I don't know what they are I got those from my neighbor and we have another buzz bait so I also have a bunch of assorted uh, tubes that I got at a garage sale I have a bunch more downstairs in my room but uh we have some tubes uh, some more tubes and some more tubes. I have enough tubes to last me a very long time just from the garage sale. Here are my rods and reels. Uh, I have two pinnacle bait casters that you can get from Walmart. I, uh, both are 6'6 six, six mediums with, and they're both 6 to 3 to 1 gear ratios. And uh, on the blue one, I 
that's my swim bait rod and uh, other finesse things and I use 12 pound monofilament for that and then this is my flipping and pitching rod I know it's it's lightweight for flipping and pitching but it does the job so I don't have all the money to go out and buy hundred dollar rods so this works but uh this has 20 pound braid and then my finesse rods are lined with 8 pound mono I don't know what the rods and reels are because it's, they're just Walmart twenty dollar reels and rods so it work they've lasted me a long time obviously this one's been through a lot of abuse and still works well for how old it is so but that's that's my uh, that's my worm it's my worm pole that's my uh, other worm pole and jigs and flipping baits and my swim bait rod and thanks for watching